Hi everybody, up next on End of the Day Beer Review, we are gonna be looking at Obraxis from, where is it? Perennial Ales, Missouri, uh, St. Louis, Missouri. All right, and we're also gonna have a special guest. This is my cousin Fred, who brought this over a couple months ago, actually. But we're gonna drink it today for you on End of the Day Beer Review. He's been hiding it. He didn't think I'd remember. All right, up next. Hi everybody, my name is Rich, and with me today is Fred, who's gonna be uh, stopping in, because quite frankly, he's got a better palate than I do. Uh, we are gonna be looking at uh, Abraxas, which is a non-aged stout, yes. if I'm not mistaken, and you said it's from where? Perennial Ales, uh, it's a 11.5%, I believe it is aged, uh, not aged, I'm sorry. Um, it has vanilla, cacao nibs, ancho chilies, a lot in there. All right, so this, yeah, this is an 11.5% 11, 11 ABV. Uh, and this is a big bottle. So this is a bottle you gotta wait and share with somebody um, because it is just too much for one evening. So let's crack this open and luckily I've got the opener right here. Um, Okay, the bar, uh, by the way, forgive me if there's noise in the background, we have children outside the doors of the bar who are playing vigorously. So we're gonna do our best to get through it and hopefully it's not being picked up the, by the mics, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm not getting any aroma just with the opening, which happens sometimes. Um, you, know, I usually, you know, it's funny because usually when I open this bottle, I, I will get a lot of cinnamon. Yeah, you're I'm, right. I'm not getting it at all. No, nothing at all yet. So let's go through the. You've port. ruined it somehow. Uh, maybe I have. It's you know, I, it would not be the first beer that I have ruined. Although most of the time when I ruin a beer, it's because I've left it too long in the fridge. Um, I hope you're all hearing that squeaking. Um, that is our children outside playing with our dog, uh, making sure that this video is as. Um, Notice he said our children. Yeah, well, mine's out there. His are out there. Uh, They're running amok. We had a really uh, good one to go there. And and no, right no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with the pour, we've got very dark beer, as you can see. I'd say a dark obsidian, really. Uh, there's no light going through that from the camera light at all. Uh, decent amount of lacing on the glass. And with this high of an ABV, I am not surprised to see the legs as it holds on to the glass. Um, so you're looking at a pretty solid beer right in my wheelhouse. Are you a stout guy? I am a huge stout guy. That's right, but you'll tolerate IPAs. I love IPA. I love all manner of, I love all manner of humans and beers. Uh, you see, that's, you're a far more forgiving person than I am. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's check the nose out on this. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that cinnamon. You're getting the cinnamon. I actually get a little, little tiny hint of coffee in there. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Definitely more of that cinnamon. Yeah, um, the cinnamon, little tiny hint of vanilla, the coffee, but the cinnamon is definitely the strongest. See what I mean? I told potent. you, he's got a much better palate than I do, and he's getting it right it, here it, without it, us it, even going all the way in. I got a better selection of adjectives. That's uh, about how it is. Yeah, and I'm also getting sort of that note of, of roastiness from it. Uh, which I mean, I'm always expecting that from a good stout. So you know, like I want that roast. I I think that's what draws me into them more than anything. It, it, yeah, so. it's it's definitely. It's a. I mean, you can appreciate this. Yeah, oh, you no. can definitely sit here and, and appreciate yeah, the. It's a lovely this, nose. Yeah. It really is. Like this is something that you could easily open up, and you know, appreciate the fact that it has just a, a great aroma before you ever even you know tuck into the beer itself. But the most important thing. What's it taste What's like? What's it taste like? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's really good. Holy crap. But that's, I mean, that's, it takes a second, but that cinnamon hits you. Yeah, yeah, it explodes all over the back of your tongue. Yes. Uh, I mean, it really yes. does. And, and you know, like I'm, I'm using that description intentionally because it is sort of that you start it's a little bit there and then it just blossoms. And it's it's beautiful. A nice mouth feel to it. It's not syrupy, which I think you get a lot of, a lot of that sort of syrup feel to it once you get going. And I'm the, not getting the, that. The, 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 the cinnamon and, and 
to a lesser extent, the cacao nibs, the vanilla, mm -hmm. it just kind of washes over, like you said, the back of the palate. It, it's, it is, you know, I, this is one of my favorite stouts. Yeah, no, this is fantastic. What is this retail for? I think it's about $28. So $28 and a glass. I have to put my glasses back on because I can't see a damn thing. For 750 milliliters or a pint, 9.4 fluid ounces. Um, and this is the 2021 vintage. So we did not let this age at all, um, which honestly, as I'm sitting here drinking it, I don't mind that. I don't think that this is going to, I don't, I don't think you're going to get an appreciable difference on letting this age. Really? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I, I, you know, I, I picked this up at uh, my local, uh, well, local to my business establishment, Beer Town in, um, Queens and that was actually what the woman who owns the business. She's wonderful. She's the one that told me She's like well, you know what you're not gonna get an appreciable difference if you age it She said hit it right away. Oh, it's really good. It really is good. And I'll tell you something else I like it at this temperature. Yeah, you know, like it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. super cold So the cold is only been in there for about yeah. an hour. Yeah about an hour hour and a half give or take It was enough time for us to have a few before this and then come back after eating dinner and try it out again and I mean honestly I, I there's a good dessert quality to this beer. Yeah, uh, what do they call it, a digestive? I yeah. mean, this is a perfect after dinner. Mm. I mean, you're certainly not gonna stand up for very long after you have it, but no, it's a perfect no, no. after dinner drink. Yeah, and we wanna talk about, first off, I don't know about you, I'm not getting any alcohol burnt from this. Nothing, this, like, as you said, perfect, yeah, dessert, yeah, this, this is perfect dessert drink. This is a dangerous beer. At 750 milliliters for the bottle, and you know uh, what is that? 11.5% uh, alcohol. Um, this is something you got to share. Try and warm this thing up a little bit because as I'm, I'm noticing as it, as it warms, you're, you're getting more flavors. More flavor out of it. Mm. You're getting a little more of the the chocolate. You're getting, you know, the the the, the, the cinnamon is definitely the dominant flavor, but you're getting more the more it comes to room temperature. But you know what's nice about this too, and, and you're right. I think as you let this sort of develop uh, a little more temperature, I think you're gonna get more flavor out of it. I don't find the cinnamon off-putting, and I've had cinnamon beers where it's just like it's so much, yeah. you've got to sit there and go no, like I can't. Um, and this isn't it. Like there's there's I, and quite honestly, like, I can't recommend this one enough. Like, this is freaking phenomenal. It really is. It, it truly is one of my favorites. Um, I've been picking this up for about the last three or four years. Um, and every year, it, it, there's slight variations. Uh, but as, it, as you pointed out, as far as the cinnamon goes, it's not like you're chewing a stick of big red. <laughs> no. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice accent. Uh, to, and it, and it, 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 it really, you know, accompanies the stout flavor, but it doesn't overpower it. It is wonderful. No, this is, this is a great beer. And I have to tell you, like 28 bucks for the bottle, I'd go and buy it. I, yeah. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Um, you know, in the past, I've looked at some of these stouts and especially with the cost of some of them, um, you know, I'm not naming any names, but I'm definitely looking at Chicago here. Um, <laughs> you know, some of those prices are ridiculous when you start getting into the idea that you're getting a 14 ounce beer. Like, this is a pretty solid value. Um, and you know, I've brought it up before on the channel, like I'm sort of put off a little bit when the beer is over carbonate, when the brewers over carbonate the beer. It's not here. This is so smooth. It's so smooth. just enough to get it to hit that back of like your, your, you know, your palate. And you can smell it and you can taste it and you can really enjoy it. So uh, I have to tell you, I, I'm thrilled with this. I really am thrilled with this. I, I don't genuinely like when people refer to a beverage as smooth. However, when it comes to, as you said, is with the mouthfeel and the, it just the, it's almost like a silkiness. You know, oh yeah. It's, it's without the syrupy yeah. like mouthfeel that you get on some of them. <laughs> Especially when you get to the heavy ABV. It, it's sad. I feel like I'm talking about you know my seventh grade crush here because I'm gushing <laughs> so badly. But it's like this is there's just nothing bad to be said no, about. No, nothing beer. at all. Um, you know, I, I'll give one complaint. You can't close the bottle again. <laughs> I will. Like I, honestly, like I could see this. What a shame. We have to finish it. <laughs> that's that's the downside to it. You know, like this is definitely. You know, I've said this before in other reviews. You know, there are some beers where 
if you're gonna drink it and you're gonna drink a bunch of them that night and you're gonna enjoy them, this is one that you're gonna open with people who you wanna share a really good beer with and enjoy that beer because it's something you can talk about and discuss and get involved with. So like, I really, yeah, I, the only problem I have with it is that this is not something you're gonna have. The on only problem you have with this is you've only got me to share. Yeah, it with it. it's well, no, my only problem is I only have one. <laughs> well, you know, like I, I go out of my. Stay on my good side. Maybe I'll bring <laughs> another one. <laughs> All right. So, um, have you tried a Braxis? Uh, if you have, please throw some comments down there. Throw us a like. A subscribe would be really, really appreciated. Um, and if you've encountered this beer before, you disagree with us, please throw those comments into the comment section. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and we're going to take some time, hide from our children, because there are a bunch <laughs> of them out there, and finish this one off. Um, but again, hope to see you next episode. Have a good one. Good night. <laughs>